Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing how I draw my character Agate his. Agate is a very interesting character of mine. He is very different from all of my other. Apologies for the barking. Agate is, um, is meant to be intimidating, but have a bit of a friendly side to him because of his um, folded ears. When drawing him, when drawing his expression, I have to remind myself that Agate never smiles. But it also depends on when, on like how old he is in the drawing. So let's um, Agate's side profile. This was originally going to be a different cat, so that it doesn't really match his facial shape. I like to imagine Agate with like very a slopey, like a sloped down face, and just like really matted, shaggy fur. Fun fact about Agate, um, I have to, I always forget to draw this, but Agate always has his head uh, leaned down to make himself look less intimidating because his clanmates always say he's a beast for how big he is. Um, everybody except for Don Clan, um, is scared of him because, like, you know, he's just a very big cat. I do have an official height for him, though I don't know, like, like how to explain it, it's just like, he, he's, um, bigger than the average Maine Coon cat. Okay, so with Agate's uh, mane, it's a very matted, so extremely matted because he never grooms himself, like ever. So he, um, so when doing that, I will put these like, like loops in his fur. I don't know how to explain it, but like that, yeah. I was gonna do a full body drawing of him, but um, I was failing on drawing the head of it, so. So I wanted to do it to show like Agate can never lift his tail up because of how heavy it is. Like, so his mane and tail are the fluffiest parts of him. They have the longest fur and Agate's tail is very long so it's going to have like a lot of fur on it and it's going to be very heavy for him. Gathering herbs, um, Agate will take it and put it in his mane because it, it does make it heavier for him to walk but at least, like, it's more he can carry. I think he has, like, anxiety and stuff, so he'll take juniper berries. Juniper berries will calm cat down, like, in, in the books. So he, he'll, ga he'll gather a lot of those so he can take them and um, have a few for himself and then to calm down easier. And then he'll, like, use the rest for any other cat that will need it. When drawing agates, uh, cheek fur, I like, I like to make it very long and like, very messy and spiky, um, but it's still like, it, it's still like, it's like a huge clump of fur. I didn't do it, I didn't color him, uh, because I just wanted to show you how like, how like, I do the, uh, the liner, it is clearly not scripted. I like to draw bags under Agate's eyes, because I don't imagine he gets a lot of sleep. Like, I feel like he's just always tired and exhausted. I don't know why I put those lines on the muzzle there. I just kind of like them. I like to imagine his uh, Eddie's brother Mysticlish would have been the medicine cat if he didn't die. Well, he, he was a warrior when he died, but mm. Eddie was also originally going to be the only child. He was only been, he wasn't going to have any siblings then, until I realized that I had a lot of morphs like in in the uh, Warriors Ultimate that had that kind of looked like him. Also, funny fact that Agate was originally going to have a special connection to worms. I'm just trying to imagine like who, like how his story would have been if I didn't change it. I'm glad I did. Alright, that's uh, the end of the video. Bye!